and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida and you're watching Maida Pores. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well, welcome back friend. It's so good to see you again. So for today's pour, I am doing another metallic pearl pour, but it is another kind of experiment for me today because I am going to try spinning this one out. Um, you always see me tilt. I'm tilting these. I I tilt these quite a bit actually. It's a fast tilting uh, type of pour and I have never brought out the spinner and tried to do one on a spinner and I'm gonna try it out today and see see what happens. Let's go down. I want to show you the colors. So here we go. Now <laughs> you'll notice these have a these have a theme, these colors here. I'm going with green and I want to get the vibe of dragon scales with this palette and I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm successful. We'll see. Lots of green here, some bluish green, but all green. So I do have um, a couple different types of paint. I have Deco Art Americana paints, which I am, which this Kelly Green is Deco Art Americana. And also this, this is called Soft Jade. This is also, but this is Deco Art Americana Multi-Service Satin. A little bit different, a little bit different. We'll see, we'll see what it does. Um, trying it out, testing it out. So the Kelly Green is Deco Art, just like their Americana acrylic, which is great paint. Actually, I like it. Look, and then I'm trying this one out for the first time today. Deco Art Americana Multi-Surface Satin right here. So slightly different. And then I do have two of my favorite, I think, my extreme sheens. I got two of those right, whoop, right here. I've got the Peridot Extreme Sheen. And then I've also got the Emerald Extreme Sheen right here. I love this color. I think is like my favorite green ever. Anyway, okay. And then last but not least, I have two more. So two more, all right. <laughs> so I have two more, uh, next I've got here, we've got this color shift in dragon flash so i'm going for dragon scales i had to put in dragon flash of course and that is this beautiful it's a blue green very tealy it's got a lot of shimmer in it i don't know how well you can see that but it's there and then last but not least i've got this treasure gold this green gold, this is Folk Art Treasure Gold Metallic. Um, I really like this brand of paint actually. Um, and the green gold, I think I've used it in one other painting. It has uh, really, the gold is in like the interference in the, it's, it's there. So we're gonna see how that looks in here. So a lot of different kinds of paint. And then of course my pour over is my trusty Artist Loft soft body acrylic in a black. I mix this two parts Floetrol to one part paint and a lot of water to thin it down. There is no, um, when it goes into the cup, there is absolutely no mount. It goes straight in. So the this is my palette and I'm gonna get out my spinner and I'm actually gonna show it to you before I start painting. I wanna show you the spinner. It's, it's a work of art in and of itself, so. Let's go. Okay, so here is the spinner that I'm gonna be using. And I absolutely love this spinner. I got the spinner off of a fellow YouTuber and painter named Jessica, who is Jessica of Winterstrom Arts. I'm gonna put a link to her channel in the description. Now, I discovered her back when she was just on Instagram um, and before she had a YouTube channel and absolutely fell in love with her art. And I just couldn't recommend going and checking out her page anymore but um she was using these spinners and she is i believe she still makes them and sells them you will have to check with her on that but that is who made this phenomenal spinner and i couldn't recommend it more so she's amazing her channel is linked in the description i'll uh, be sure to check her out and what i love about this can or about this spinner is that it can hold a larger canvas with ease now this is not a huge canvas this is a um what is this 18 this is an 18 by 24 inch canvas but you can put on m larger canvases and it will it'll hold it no problem so so yeah this is like a great spinner and i love it and i always love to shout jessica out when i use it which is not often enough 
All right, so let's start with our puddle, with our dragon pour puddle. And I'm gonna start with some of this Kelly Green, and then I'm gonna go in with this Soft Jade. Just trying these, these two new paints out right on the bottom there. I'm gonna go in with the Treasure Gold, the gold green here, the Folk Art Treasure Gold. And I'm gonna go in with the Color Shift. And I'm just layering these all just sort of right on top of each other. My emerald green. I love that emerald green. And then my peridot. Those are very similar colors now, aren't they? Okay. So that is that. I need to get these out of the way so I can spin this out. I'm a little worried about the paint going everywhere, but you know, c'est la vie. <laughs> so go ahead. So I'm not gonna use all of my black paint. I am gonna reserve a little bit in there. And that's it. I'm spinning this. I'm not tilting this, and I don't know how it's gonna go. What is this gonna be like, guys? I don't know. Okay. Is this gonna go get all over the place? It's very possibly. I don't know. We're gonna find out here. <laughs> Never spun something out this big before <laughs> with this much paint on it. Uh oh. Alright, here we go. Spinning it out. Okay. Yep, getting on the floor, that's okay. I have tarp down. I'd rather get it on this side. Oh uh, boy. If I get it to cover, is it just gonna go over that one side? I don't know. I should be able to get it to cover. Let's go here. I always have a little bit to put in the corners if I'm really struggling to cover it. Will I get pearls this way? I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. The greens look cool on my table. Oop. Getting on my shoes. It's flying. It's flying, guys. Ooh, and pearls are starting to come up. Couple more spins. Should get it covered. Want that last little corner? Not even corner. I got all my corners covered. Oh no. It's this last little bit over here. Might have to help it out. Okay. Let's help this last little bit out. Let's have a little struggle session over here. Let's spin over. These greens together are stunning. Never done just greens. Oh, I got a little. That's the last little bit. So I'm gonna give it one more spin and then we're gonna torch it. I haven't even torched this yet. Okay, 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 okay. Is this all covered? Covered, covered. We got covered. Got that covered. <laughs> I made a mess. This is definitely, this is definitely a little messier than my normal technique, I would say. But hey. Ooh, dragon scales indeed. These greens though, they are stunning, stunning. Okay. Oh my, okay. Now it's time to torch. Torching it, wow, that, that popped some up there. I saw a lot just pop. That was fun. It was fun to see those pop, actually. Did you see it on camera? I never know if you can see it on camera the same way I can. I'm gonna do another torch over. Okay, I'm gonna torch it one more time. Ooh, those are starting to open up already, aren't they? See some more pop up there. And I'm gonna spin it again gently. I don't wanna like go crazy. I don't want the paint to fly everywhere. <laughs> I don't want it to get on me anymore. It got on me a little bit, guys, but it's okay. It's okay. Or as a painting sweatshirt. Okay, so when we spin out, how interesting is this? Okay, sorry. It's like you knew it was gonna be cool, but you didn't know why, right? Well, we're finding out why. So when you spin it out, it like pulls sun, it like pulls them all out kind of, it like it does cause a little wonk but what a cool like centrifugal force wonk love it how fun it's like it's like a, that's cool all right this is fun i like this i feel like they're still forming too let's see if i can get any more to pop up yep oh yeah definitely get more to pop up here Okay, we're gonna let this develop and then I'm gonna come back. We're gonna see if I need, you know, what I need to do. Got a lot to pop up. And yeah. Oh my goodness.
Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Dragon scales indeed nailed it. <laughs> this is not done developing. I know it's not. I need, I'm gonna torch it one more time. I don't want to tilt tilt it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a quick transportation, a switcheroo here, because uh, I cannot let it sit too long on the spinner because it will dry and you don't want it. I've made that mistake one time, we're not doing that. We're back, back on. We're back just without the spinner underneath that. That way, as it dries, I will not have to worry about the spinner. <laughs> yeah, I made the mistake one time of like letting the painting sit on there too long and then, oof, yeah. Don't do that, guys, don't do that. Learn from my mistakes. Do not repeat them for yourself. All right. That's it. That is a dragon eye, that is dragon scales. And the spinning was cool because it like pulled these outer ones and like pulled them all like a little bit like so that actually I feel like it gives it a real cool like scaled effect in there and I can see all of my colors throughout here but yeah I this has only been like a little bit I don't know if this is gonna develop more what's gonna happen but let's 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 give it some time let's see okay <laughs> okay I don't know if this is done developing yet I will definitely come back in and um, I will definitely come back in for a close-up when this is all dry and I'll show you whether or not this is done or if it closes up even more. I just, I wanna move this out of the way because I have one more painting idea in my head today that I wanna mix up some paint for and do. So I don't wanna let this sit here indefinitely um, on my table today. I'm gonna go move it over to my drying bench but I do want to bring you in for a close-up while it's still wet and show you these awesome, juicy, amazing, um, just dragon scale cells. I mean, what else are you going to call it? I really love this effect that spinning it gave this like outer edge. And I think if I went even more in on the spinning, I would have gotten this effect even more. So maybe next time, next time guys, um, I don't have it in me to clean up the mess again because it definitely is a little messier than my normal uh, ways, but worth it because what cool, cool, cool. Like it's just such a cool, it's like, it, it definitely, it. I call it wonking. It wonked the cells out a bit, but it like pulled them out like with centrifugal force all the way around. So it's just a really cool effect. Um, the inner eye, so to speak, that's what it reminds me of, like the dark eye of the dragon. Um, I actually enjoy the depths of it. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna, you know, fill in more or not. We'll see. I'll show you the dried results in a second. But yeah, I was going for a dragon scale effect and uh, I'm gonna have to say I nailed it guys. I nailed it. I don't usually pat myself on the back too hard, but I'm gonna say I nailed it this time. <laughs> so if you enjoy this video, please do give it that thumbs up button and give it a comment and consider subscribing if you enjoy watching acrylic paint pouring because that is what I do here. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in a moment for those dried results. But after that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And hello again. Here we are for the dried results. And how cool did this beautiful piece dry? I love these must scales. I'm loving these scales. There are so many. Each color I used like these cells blended. So this really gold, it's that green gold. It's almost like the gold separated here and you really just get that gold. But you can also see the emerald and the peridot. I do not feel that the colors are being done justice right now as is, you know, okay, they're kind of adjusted and caught up. 
There's like so many different shades. It's just so cool, guys. The spinning really did create a cool kind of, well, I guess almost more scaled effect. I really do think it is so cool. So this is all dry, but not varnished yet. Um, it still has a beautiful sheen and shimmer to it, but it's not finished. And yeah, there it is. This is definitely a dragon's eye and these are definitely dragon scales. I can see, I can see it's like a close up. I might even embellish, I might even embellish this one to really bring out that eye. It's almost like here's the eye and then this is like a little nostril or something. I could, I just see it. So let me know if you see it too. And uh, I always love to hear what you guys think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. You know I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.